everyone, my name is Tasha and welcome to Heart of Tarts. On today's show, we will be continuing our Halloween series with a Halloween costume of sorts. We will be making the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. And since I don't know the first thing about the Queen of Hearts, I'm the perfect person to make art about her. Right? Am I right? We couldn't really watch white movies growing up, so I never saw Alice in Wonderland. Also, my adult attention span won't really let me sit down to watch any movies, and as far as I know, Alice in Wonderland, it seemed like she was just on a really bad trip and she need not do that combination of drugs and alcohol anymore, so leave it alone and you won't be going down rabbit holes and stuff. Anyway, many girls will be dressing up as the Queen of Hearts for Halloween and Heart of Tarts is a derivative of Queen of Hearts. How do I know? Because I made it up myself. So we will be making a tart for our namesake today. Here we go. We're gonna start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees as always. And I'm gonna go through this really quickly to a food processor, adding one and a half cups oatmeal and four pitted dates. Blend those together until they form a fine crumb. Then put in one fourth teaspoon salt, one fourth teaspoon cinnamon, three tablespoons coconut oil, and one fourth cup almond milk and pulse to combine. Press that mixture around a nine inch chart pan and then bake for 10 to 15 minutes. I do almost the same crust every day, so see the description below for the recipe. For our filling, I'm going to use pears and bananas. I peeled the pears and then I cored them by slicing off all of the sides and added them to my food processor along with one and a half bananas. Don't ask me what type of pears they are because my grandfather just bought home an unmarked bag of pears and I learned a long, long time ago, do not ask where they came from because you probably don't want to know the source. Blend those all together to a puree and then pour it into your cool tart crust. I thought by letting it sit, the banana would make it a little bit gelatinous, but I'm still learning this cooking chemistry as I go along. Some things bananas make gelatinous and other things like this, it just makes it apple saucy. And I don't know about it. It's enough solids in there to hold the topping, but it is making my tart crust really soggy. So you may want to drain it or something. In a cheesecloth? I don't really know. Next, we're going to make my favorite part of this tart, the Queen of Hearts fluffy big red afro. So we're going to take a pint of strawberries and cut off the tops. And the bigger strawberries that are wider than they are circular, I cut off the sides and then I cut them down the middle to get the maximum amount of red surface area per strawberry. So I placed the red strawberries on for my hair and then I moved on to her lips. I took half of a perfect strawberry and I kind of shaped it into the shape of a heart. I cut it in half horizontally and I placed it exposed side up where her lips should be. She has a really strong lip line so I placed raisins across so you can really see where her lips part. I don't know why her lips look like that but they do. And then I moved on to my nose and my eyes. I cut three slices of banana and then I shaped one into a nose which I don't know how well I did but it looks like a cute little button nose. And then I did two almond shapes for her eyes. I placed raisins on for her pupils and the first pupil I put on looks really really dilated like she was on the same trip Alice in Wonderland was on so I replaced it with a normal size pupil like she's down from her high and then I put another one on the other eye I then made my eyebrows also out of raisins and my eyeshadow she usually has on blue eyeshadow but it is so difficult to find a natural colored light blue fruit or vegetable that I just went with green like I didn't even have time to look today I took a kiwi I sliced it the green part only leave out the white part and just cut it until it fits between her eyeball and her eyebrows. It covers the whole thing. It's no blending whatsoever. She is so tacky. And don't look at my lipstick or my eyeshadow. I tried new things today and I don't really like them. So yeah, she turned out like I drew her and that's just about all we could ask for. Did you all know that I draw all my tarts before I make them? This is my head note. This is my recipe. That's, that's my queen of hearts. She looks really bad. She kind of looks exactly like my tart. I wish my filling wasn't so liquidy and making my crust a soggy mess, but what can you do? What can you do? I make a tart every day. What can you do? Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me and want to see more of my fabulous, delicious tarts, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you really care, share it with your friends on Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram. I'm all over the place, so at reply me when you do it. Bye!